Okay, YouTubers. Once again, I don't usually make videos, but I was trying to figure out how to dye a monofilament cast net. Done some research, couldn't find any videos, so I'm going to make one here today. So I got a brand new shrimp net, and I got an older, just a regular old uh, store bought bait net. I was going to try it on that first because this custom made net quite a bit more money than that one so what I got is uh got me a big drum here boiled a couple pots of water and put some water out of the garden hose in there and today we're going to be using writ dye and it's the aquamarine color that's what I'm going for uh read on the internet that this will actually dye the uh the monofilament there so I'm going to give it a try now I read the directions here on the back and it says to add vinegar for synthetic materials so we're gonna get our old uh, vinegar here it says one cup but I'm not sure if they know how much water I got or how much I'm doing so we're just gonna pour a good little amount in there do a little stirring around here I'm going to put the whole thing in there. I think it'll be fine. We shall see. It says to wear gloves, but hopefully I don't get any on me. Oh, wait. i got to stir it. Huh. Okay, so we got our dye, and I got me a stick. Stir this all around. Hopefully the hot water will dissolve most of the dye. Give it a little kick, shake it a little bit. Hopefully I can do all this with one hand here. Grab the net. I think what I'm gonna do is just do the bottom part of the net first. And bear with me here. I'm gonna set that down in there. Maybe do a little ring on there. Tell it's changed some. Heck with it, I'm sticking the whole thing in there. We'll see what it looks like with the whole thing in there. Obviously, you can tell I don't make many videos because I should have had someone outside here to hold the phone while I'm trying to do all this. So, bear with me. So I pretty much got the whole net under the water. And I think I'm going to leave it for about 30 minutes or so. And then I'll come back and check the progress. Okay, so we're back. The net on the left, left in there for about 15-20 minutes. I pulled it out. And it was a little darker than I was hoping. So I took another old cast net I had laying around. And I just dipped the bottom in briefly, maybe 15 seconds. Also did the top just to try to get a little different design. Um, I kind of like this color here better than I do the real dark. So I think I'm just going to briefly drop my net in there, the shrimp net that I was showing you earlier, and um, see what happens. Actually, I'm going to rinse these off and see if the color fades any. All right, so we're back. This is my 10-foot shrimp net that I was trying to do. I was looking more for this kind of aqua color. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's kind of a light blue. I didn't really want the dark blue like this one, so I didn't leave it in quite as long, but not too bad. I'm not disappointed. I may stick it in one more time just to see if it'll get just a little more color. 